The history of humanity in Africa is the most extensive among all continents beginning at least four million years ago. Scientists even believe that humanity originated here, so it's not surprising that some astonishing discoveries are made on this continent. It is truly a gold mine of human history, and its mysteries continue to amaze to this day, if these videos are to be believed. I present to you 11 incredible findings in Africa. Enjoy the view. The sarcophagi are so well made that some experts believe they couldn't have physically been built by ancient Egyptians. Weighing over 100 tons and made of granite and diorite, 24 unusual black boxes were found 20 kilometers south of the Great Pyramid of Giza in the Serapium of the Egyptian settlement of Saqqara. They were built around 1300 BC. Looking at the sarcophagi, it seems that the craftsmanship and neatness of their shape are the result of machine cutting. The internal surface of the boxes is almost perfectly flat, and the angles are cut precisely at 90 degrees. Although the origin of these tombs remains undisclosed, they clearly had great significance to the people of that time. Archaeologists and historians assert that in ancient Egypt, the sarcophagi were used for the burial of sacred bulls of the Apis cult. Yes, it's quite hard to imagine that people would go to such lengths to bury dead bulls. However, these animals were sacred to the inhabitants of ancient Egypt. They symbolized strength, courage, and bravery, and were not only deities, but also a symbol of the pharaohs. So it's not surprising that the Egyptians spent so much time and effort creating carefully designed tombs for the animals they revered. A pastor from South Africa made headlines worldwide by staging a strange hoax in which he revived a dead man in front of church congregants. The photos show the religious figure placing his hands on the deceased's chest and shouting, Rise! The man, who supposedly died from an unknown disease, opens his eyes and sits up in the coffin with his mouth and eyes wide open to the screams and cheers of the gathered congregants. The video of the resurrection of the dead man quickly went viral, with users posting their own dramatic resuscitation enactments. However, this sparked a backlash from the funeral parlor hired to conduct the burial. They issued a press statement debunking the stunt. The company wrote in the statement, we are in the process of pursuing a legal remedy for the malicious damage to our reputation. Soon after, even the church debunked the video, telling local media that it was not a resurrection miracle. News outlets also started to report on this, and it took some more time before authorities and religious figures made statements condemning the pastor's actions. The land that God created in anger, as local residents call this place. The Skeleton Coast has a notorious reputation. Sailors dubbed this place the Gates of Hell. The shipwrecks scattered along the coastline testify to the numerous shipwrecks that have occurred on these shores. Due to the cold oceanic current, dense fog hangs over the coast for most of the year, and precipitation rarely exceeds 13 mm per year. The climate here is extremely inhospitable. The coast is littered with the wreckage of ships stuck on shifting sand dunes, with no human settlements in sight. Over the centuries, the deadly combination of thick fog and strong currents has caused many shipwrecks. If a ship ran aground, the sailors would meet a grim fate. Any survivor would find themselves in an uncharted desert without food and drinking water, so finding human bones here is a common thing. From time to time, the stormy surf calms down enough to discover a new sunken ship's grave. And along the shore, you can find the remains of crew members who fought to save their ship to the end. The Skeleton Coast National Park was created in 1971 and spans 6 million hectares around the coastline, remaining an untouched, stunningly beautiful area. Thanks to its dystopian appearance, the skyscraper was used as a shooting location for science fiction thrillers such as District 9 Inches and Resident Evil, The Final Chapter. The 55-story Ponte City Tower, standing at 173 meters, is located in Johannesburg, the largest city in South Africa. The tallest residential building in Africa had become so run down that it was dubbed a vertical slum. There were even proposals to turn it into a multi-story prison. 
it's that bad. Built in 1975, the skyscraper was supposed to take center stage in an area that was considered promising at the time. Three-story penthouses crowned the circular tower with saunas, jacuzzis, and patios offering unparalleled views. Initially, this building was one of the most attractive in Johannesburg, but then it quickly lost its charm, becoming infamously known as a slum. If the building seems scary to you from the outside, that's nothing, considering that it once contained a pile of garbage several stories high inside. For a long time, many city residents and tourists avoided the tower, but it is now rapidly changing its image. The building is fully occupied, and there is even a queue of people wanting to move in. In the 1970s, the president of the Democratic Republic of Congo spent over $100 million building a lavish palace complex for himself in the village where his family came from. At the time, the president's village became known as the Jungle Versailles. There was even an international airport that was large enough for a jet to land. Fifty years ago, it was a small village of 1,500 people with adobe brick houses. It wasn't even marked on maps, but within a decade, the village turned into a huge city with five-star hotels, supermarkets, high-tech hospitals, and palatial homes for the president. There was even a nuclear bunker that could accommodate more than 500 people. In addition, there was a Coca-Cola bottling plant. However, the level of government corruption was just off the charts. By conservative estimates, the president who built this luxurious place stole $5 billion from his country. Some sources even quote a figure of $15 billion. When the president was ousted from power in 1997, the architectural complex was looted and destroyed. Today it lies in ruins and is engulfed by the jungle. The Seven Colored Earths is a geological formation and a famous tourist attraction located in the southwestern part of the island of Mauritius, near the village of Chamorel. It's a relatively small area of sand dunes, consisting of sand of seven different colors, red, brown, violet, green, blue, purple, and yellow. The sands are randomly layered, so the dunes, painted in different colors, appear fantastic. It is believed that the different shades of color appeared as a result of cooling molten volcanic rock at different external temperatures. However, the reasons for their uniform, spontaneous distribution are not yet fully understood. Another strange feature of the dunes is that they apparently do not erode, despite heavy and frequent rains. However, it's not hard to guess why this place has become one of the main tourist attractions of the island since the 1960s. Its natural beauty has attracted a huge number of tourists. Although visitors are not allowed to climb the dunes, they can view this amazing landscape from viewing platforms located along the fences. Did you know that the African continent is slowly splitting apart, forming a new ocean? It's absolutely true. The East African Rift and the Donakil Desert in this region of Ethiopia is truly a unique place where a new ocean is born due to the divergence of two tectonic plates. Here are countless volcanoes, faults, and fissures, as well as an amazing diversity of animals and people who have adapted over time to the harsh environment, despite its crumbling nature. The eruption of a nearby volcano in 2005, followed by a period of intense seismic activity, led to the formation of a fissure in the Earth's crust. During the earthquake, the land split apart, forming a large fault known as the Dabahu fissure. According to eyewitnesses, the fissure moved south like an unzipping zipper. All this happened within a matter of days. Over the next few months, hundreds of cracks were noticed on the surface of the desert. At the same time, scientists watched as magma rose from the depths of the earth, beginning to form what would ultimately become the basaltic layer of the ocean floor. Typically, geological processes such as the formation of rivers, seas, and mountains occur extremely slowly. But in this case, everything is developing at an astounding speed. There are scientific papers and various theories about these colossal structures, 
but we can definitively say that these skillfully built stone monuments, shaped like keyholes, are spread across the territory of the National Park in Algeria up to the Ahagar Plateau. Some of them are very small, about 8 meters, and some are huge, up to 300 meters. The monuments are surrounded by mysterious circles, or contain circles inside, placed specifically in a certain place. According to modern knowledge, these keyholes are probably the oldest of all known monuments of the Sahara. However, their purpose remains a matter of speculation. There are even rumors of extraterrestrial intervention. One theory suggests that they are actually tomb markers, but then how old are these pre-Islamic burial mounds? Probably around 3,000 years, maybe twice as much. During this time, megalithic tombs spread throughout the ancient world, the most impressive of which were in ancient Egypt. Interestingly, these burial mounds are almost always oriented to the east, within the limits of the rising sun, which may relate to local beliefs of that time, connected with rebirth and the afterlife. The third largest diamond in the world, a gemstone the size of a chicken egg and weighing 1098 carats, was found in Botswana. The value of the diamond found in the world's richest mine is about $46 million. This find is the largest gem-quality stone mined in the company's 50-year history. In simple terms, diamonds form when carbon deposits deep in the Earth's core, at depths of about 100, 200 kilometers, are subjected to high temperatures and pressures. Some stones form over several days or months, while others take millions of years. Most natural diamonds take millions, if not billions of years. Interestingly, diamond growth is not always a continuous process. The formation of a diamond can be halted by changes in temperature or pressure. Then the precious stone waits hundreds or even millions of years until the conditions necessary for growth reappear. Despite the fact that no one knows how old this stone is, this diamond is the third largest in the world. The largest ever found was a diamond weighing 3,106 carats, discovered in South Africa in 1905. The second largest was a diamond the size of a tennis ball, found in Botswana in 2015. In 2003, a pilot was flying over a hill in this region of South Africa when his plane was forced to land on the mountainside. Upon exiting the plane, the pilot saw three monolithic five-ton stones sticking out of the ground, and behind them, a huge stone circle. Scientists have established a certain connection between the positioning of the stones, possibly making this the only example in the world of a functioning and undamaged megalithic stone calendar. The megaliths, which were named Adam's Calendar, and also dubbed the African Stonehenge, are at least 75,000 years old and one of the oldest man-made structures found on Earth. It predates Stonehenge in Britain and the Great Pyramid of Giza by tens of thousands of years. Experts around the world call this place the largest among the many thousands of ancient stone ruins found in southern Africa. It is directly connected to King Solomon's ancient gold mines and reveals a new hidden part of human history. This place is aptly named Adam's Calendar because the stones are positioned to catch the movement of the sun, which casts shadows on the rock. And to this day, the megaliths work perfectly as a calendar, following the shadow of the setting sun. Even with its surreal appearance, Dead Vlei in Namibia is known as the most picturesque, lifeless place on Earth. It's hard to forget this barren, harsh landscape. At night here, you can see the clearest sky in the world. The name of this place literally translates as Dead Valley. It is located in one of the harshest climates on Earth, in a depression between the highest dunes in the world. The trees here died about 600 years ago, Sunburnt over centuries, the richly red dunes surrounding this area have received their hue due to age. The brick color of the sand is caused by a high iron content in its composition. The brightest shades can be observed during sunrise and sunset. Believe it or not, a river once flowed here and there was a great variety of trees and plants. Scientists believe that a long time ago this was an oasis, formed by plentiful rainfall and a flooding Zauchab River. Favorable conditions were created for plants, including the camel thorn tree, 
which can reach up to 17 meters in height. But about 900 years ago, the dunes began to gradually block water access to the oasis, and a drought broke out in this area. Life quickly faded, and soon only the dry tree trunks reminded of the once fragrant corner of nature. And that's all from me. If you like this video, don't forget to rate it, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell. Your activity is the best reward for me. Thank you for your attention. See you soon. Bye.